Hey y'all, it's me back with another video. If you haven't been to my channel before, it's Kylie. Welcome. Today I'm gonna be doing that little, like something that's been going like kind of viral. Um, and I like figured why not give it a try. And shout out my girl Dominique because she gave me the idea to do this. And so um, basically what it is is like you just put on, you put on like powder before foundation, which isn't like normal. Like usually you put on like powder after foundation just to kind of like smooth out that like you know dewiness or like that oily kind of look you know whenever you put on your foundation hopefully this is supposed to be like a just a quick little trick um to like just kind of match you out a little more i guess or i really don't know what it does but whatever it's supposed to look better than just regular you know whatever whatever so today i'm gonna be doing um powder underneath my foundation and see how that goes welcome to my channel and without further ado let's get started okay, awesome so today for powder i'm gonna be using this elf uh hd the perfect finishing powder um this is in color clear um, so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this little thing and it comes with a mirror on it which is pretty nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and use the mirror in here and um and so i'm just gonna go ahead and press that into my skin Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so really make sure I get all that powder underneath my eyes and everything. Beautiful. Okay, and so then I'm going to go in with Fit Me Doing Smooth. Um, I am in color 240 Golden Beige, and so I'm just going to go ahead and take this and apply it like normal. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to use giant oval brush um i guess this would be like extremely similar to like the artiste brushes i love these brushes these are honestly great dupes for them so like if you ever like decide that you want to try it it's great and i do highly suggest it so and now i'm thinking maybe i should use my beauty blender to like pat on top of the powder because that's probably like best for it and not like rubbing out of place with that brush because hello it's gonna wipe all of it away so i'm just gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender instead because I think that'll work a lot better for this. Okay, awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my beauty blender and uh, with this foundation and hopefully this works and it isn't a complete mess. And so let's just go ahead and get started. Here's the tea y'all. Okay. I'm not totally hating this. It really, I don't hate it. I don't. I actually don't at all. I say it's a win so far. Now I gotta wear it throughout the day and I'll be back in like an hour to let y'all know. But like right now I'm totally not hating this at all. I think it's supposed to like mismatch you out and, and kind of like let you allow you to skip the whole like powder process. Hopefully that's the case and we shall see in like an hour. I'll be just right back you guys. So it's been like an hour. I don't know if that's really gonna have time to really like see what it does. And like I don't totally hate it. Oh my gosh, do y'all see that? Maybe here to do something yeah I don't totally hate it I don't know I feel like to me like it's kind of hard to see because I feel like a camera can't really capture it unless you get like super close and a personal but like, my texture it's almost like brought to the forefront like from a distance I look great like right now y'all probably like dang girl that foundation though in this mirror it definitely like you probably have like large pores but I do have like a lot of texture on my face just like under my eyes and then like just, I don't know I don't know how to explain it and I feel like you can definitely like see that and it's not like a smooth out look which when you put on foundation you want like a smooth out look so not a complete dud um it just depends on what you're like looking for in foundation I get like super oily like all through here it's it drives me insane like 10 times a day I have to like wipe my forehead because it's just oil yes and then I'm also like very dry in some spots too but yeah it wasn't a complete flop for me like I'm very will I be doing it more not is it something that I'm at to my makeup routine probably not but I guess just depends on your personal preference like me personally I wouldn't do this again but that's just it's whatever you make it and makeup is whatever you want it to be and whatever you want to make it and so like just remember that too so like get it and so yeah that's just my honest review and thank y'all so much for watching and being on my channel today follow me on all three social medias Twitter snapchat Instagram all three Miss underscore Kylie. Y'all already know. Hit the follow button. Hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get started. I'm trying to get established. And girl, can we just talk about my nails? Like, what? He he did that. 
he did that. But thank y'all so much for watching and coming to my channel today. And you guys have a good day. Cruising up in Houston, I got better vibes. High as fuck, bloodshot, had to buy Zima.